Hi guys, Mr. Be Safe from Australia doing a follow up video on the unboxing of the Eton Scorpion. Has the crank to give it that extra boost for charge. Three LEDs, which are nice and bright. It's got a solar panel for charging. Carabine clip. It's not really lightweight, but the specs have already been done on the other bit. Okay, so that's the radio, set to a maximum of 30. There's a flashlight, three LEDs, nice and bright. After having unboxed the radio, I had to give it a quick review and I wasn't going to take it into the field because there's not much point in taking something like this into the field. I can do that test at home. So I put it after a couple of days of sitting in a nice Australian summer. A couple of days here, 30, 35, up to 39. Charged it up for a couple of days before I actually used it. Turned on the radio. I set the volume to 16 out of uh, 30. The, the unit ran out of charge approximately about one and a half later. Gave it another couple of days. Repeated the test. The battery lasted approximately one hour. Charged it up again. And put the unit facing with the solar panel. Out, to, out on the back veranda type area where the sun was fully uh, aligned with the solar panel. Turned on the radio, set it up to about 25, 26. Wanted to see how long it would run or if the battery would charge while it's actually in play. It did. It died again after about an hour. I gave it a couple of days more, recharged it and did the light test. I sat that just on the bench, very nice bright light, after 20 minutes there was an obvious degradation to it, uh, it continued to shine for about an hour, and about another 15 minutes of light, but you had to hold it about 40, 50 centimetres, or say 2-3 inches away from what you're looking for because the light just didn't project that brightness. Yeah can give it the extra mileage when it's slow, but it only shines really while you're actually doing it. Once you close it, that's it. Unfortunately, it doesn't meet my expectations. It weighs more than it's worth to carry. It's uh, basically water resistant, so I'd be after something with a little bit better IPX rating. Uh, I suppose a disclaimer here is this could be a faulty unit, but the expense of getting it sent back to America is not worth it. I'm just better off throwing it away. I won't be taking it on camping trips or in the car or anything with me because the battery just dies too quick and you need to, you need to really keep this face in the sun or you need to be really charging it every night. That's a little bit too much. Um, oh, that's a lot of effort. Basically, I'll be blunt. It's got the bottle opener on the bottom. Well, it's got USB charger and stuff in there. I wasn't going to pull it apart because if I have trouble running the radio, it's not going to get my mobile phone up and running. Not with a smartphone. So again, that's the Eton Scorpion. Sorry guys, it didn't meet my expectations. If you're in Australia, Go to BCF, Anaconda, camping stores, Aussie disposals, you know, all that ex-military gear and whatnot. And if you want a rechargeable torch, get a dedicated rechargeable torch uh, with a solar panel if you so wish. Uh, it'll be lighter than having this whole unit as it is pretty heavy. Uh, get a better IPX rating on it. And if you really want the radio, I'd go for a small card sized digital radio where the battery just runs it for 365 days of the year before you even have to worry about replacing a battery like that. It's always good to have comms. So from my expectations it's uh, let me down. Uh, you guys in America, 
if you've got one of these and do a review and, and you know put it out there that maybe this this little piece of item that I got might have been faulty but the expense from here to there is too much so for another unit like this I'll definitely be local local okay guys that's be safe I'm out of here now hope it helps you